Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody is doing well. Uh, it's pretty early, guys. It's only 930 in the morning, and we are starting this video off in the parking lot of Best Buy. Uh, the reason we're at Best Buy is because last night I went online and they are having an outstanding Black Friday sale. Uh, 4Ks for dirt cheap, Blu-rays for dirt cheap. Um, I've known in the past couple of years they haven't really done, um, I had that great of like Black Friday deals and I feel like this year is really good. I don't know if it's because they're getting out of the physical media game and they're trying to clear their shelves or what they're doing, but long story short, I went on and bought like 13 new movies online. Um, so I'm here to pick them up. I don't know if I'm going to film in there. Uh, there's usually not that much to really show off, but I'll take a look. I mean, if there's something worth filming, I'll film. And we got my mom here too, right there, because we're, we're going to go to Walmart because she loves, well, we both do. We love to go to Walmart and do like a little, little Christmas Walmart trip to one, to people watch because it's hilarious. And two, uh, they just have a lot of really cool Christmas stuff and we'll look at some movies there. Uh, but yeah, go check Best Buy. Best Buy's having some fantastic deals right now on 4Ks and Blu-rays. Uh, and they're going quick. I bought some of this stuff uh, not that long ago and I was looking, actually it was this morning I bought it. And I was uh, I was looking right before we left and some of the stuff I already bought is already unavailable and sold out. So some of the deals are really, really good. They got some 4Ks on there for like $5, $6. And yeah, they're having some great, great deals. So I'm gonna run in. Uh, pick that stuff up and come back and then we will uh we're gonna head over to walmart and see what's going on in the walmart then we'll head back to my house and uh we'll uh we'll we'll see the movies that i picked up because i got quite a few of them so uh i'll see you guys in a little bit <laughs> Right, guys so as you can see you know, i did a little bit of filming in there they had a good amount of NECAs there which kind of surprised me i wasn't uh expecting there to be that many um but as you can see like some of those stands those black friday stands a lot of them were completely empty or pretty darn close to empty um there wasn't yeah there wasn't uh there was some spots that was pretty well picked over so yeah they're having some pretty good deals but got my movies right here put those in the back we will go over those later hey, and i want to show this off too move the camera down here this really cool i don't know if you can really see it uh the chevy chase um uh, christmas vacation kind of he's got the chainsaw there kind of a horror type t-shirt that i got from fright rags they got some really cool um christmas horror shirts going on right now so go check them out not a sponsor of this video but i just thought i'd show it off because uh they make pretty cool shirts so um yeah so we're done at best buy so let's hit the road we're gonna head over to walmart and see what kind of fun stuff we can find at walmart <laughs> Axe links, Sasquatch. It's 
always Christmas vacation. This is pretty cool. 1969 Camaro Lego set. I'd put that together. That's really cool. Oh, look at this. We've got some Christmas movies down here. They're all DVD, though. The Grinch, Scooby-Doo Holiday Classic, Charlie Brown, Scrooge, Christmas Vacation. Yeah, these are all DVD, but kind of cool they have outside of the uh, movie area. Oh, cool. They got some uh, Christmas slip covers going on here. These are kind of cool. They haven't had these ones before. guys so we just rolled out of the walmart we're making pretty good time not even 11 30 and i already went to best buy picked up my movies and went to walmart uh did all the shopping there i don't think there's anything else i really have to do so we're making pretty good time uh walmart was all right the NECA section movie section was kind of kind of lame they had they had some cool holiday covers but like slip covers but that was about it they had they had some cool christmas items to kind of look at that little projector thing was pretty sweet um but yeah otherwise i mean i didn't pick anything up then but it's always still kind of fun to go people watch and just kind of look at the holiday stuff uh i don't know if we were just there kind of early it just or if this year's is not that good it just seems like in years past uh they've had a lot cooler like holiday stuff i feel like it was not that great of stuff this year but you know it is what it is it was still fun nonetheless all right, well, I'm going to head home because I got 13 new movies. I think I actually have a movie coming in the mail today, too. So I have an extra one to show off. So we got a lot of movies to uh, show off that I got uh, during the Black Friday sale. So uh, I will see you guys at the house in just a little bit. All right, guys, well, we're back home. We're going to go through the movies that I picked up today. Uh, I got quite a few because, you know, Best Buy is getting rid of physical media in 2024. 
This is probably going to be the uh, the last time that they have a Black Friday sale. It's got physical media included. So, and they had some great deals. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I didn't get anything last year or the year before. If I did, it was very minor. Uh, so I was like, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff this year. And uh, I did. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned the video before, but I did ask uh, a uh, salesperson or one of the people that was just working at Best Buy. It's like, uh, I know you guys are getting rid of physical media in 2024. Do you have any idea of when that's actually going to happen or when the date is on that? And he said he didn't have an exact date on it, but he did mention, and this was really cool to hear, is he said that the company was actually getting kind of a lot of backlash for doing that. Like a lot of people were were complaining about that and saying things to him like, look, no, don't get rid of physical media. Like there's a market for it. Um, and so it, it's kind of nice to hear that, uh, that people are speaking out against them getting rid of physical media. But I mean, in the long run, when it's all said and done, I mean, if it's not beneficial to your company to have it, then get rid of it, you know, I guess is kind of what they're thinking. And I, and I can understand where they're coming from. Uh, and I'm not saying, I don't know if this is actually going to do anything, if this is actually going to change anything, but it's still nice to hear, um, you know, people speaking out against, you know, removing physical media. So that kind of surprised me though. I didn't, uh, I didn't think he would actually say anything like that. And he did. And I thought it was kind of cool, you know, that, Hey, you know, I know we're out there, but it's nice to know that people are letting these companies know that, Hey, look, there's still collectors out there. We like this physical media. Uh, don't get rid of it, but. Like I said, who knows if it's actually going to do anything. But uh, anyway, let's move on to what I picked up. Now, the first three movies are movies that actually came out this week. They were not part of the uh, Black Friday deal. They uh, they were just movies I picked up as well. So we're going to start off with that. And the first one I already opened. I actually already uh, watched it today. Uh, this is actually several hours later. Uh, but I did pick up the uh, Steelbook of Rudy. Uh, I grew up with this movie. I was very happy that it was getting a 4K release. It's a beautiful, beautiful steelbook. I'll do a review for this real quick. Um, or not real quick, but I mean upcoming. I'll do. I'll definitely do a review for that. So look out for that. Uh, it's a cool movie. If you've never seen Rudy, I've been in the mood for a football movie for a while. So uh, that one definitely uh, got the job done. So, uh, And then I picked up the new uh, Vestron Video Collectors series. Uh, of Jamie Lee Curtis in Blue Steel. Very cool, very 90s looking slip cover there. That might even be the original poster art. So I've never seen that before. Uh, look forward to uh, checking that one out. Uh, this next one, this really pisses me off. So let me explain something. When, if you've ever gotten a movie from Best Buy or like, or not, not like through the mail, but like went and picked it up at the store they print off these little stickers and most of the time if you go to it there's there's a back you can peel off of the sticker they'll just peel off a top little part and put it on the on uh, the movie or whatever so that when they go to look for it they know that this is the movie that you're here to pick up but for some reason at this best buy they completely take the back off and slap that sticker on it and unfortunately when i went to take this one off it even though it's a glossy slip cover it still peeled off like part of the picture. So I'm going to return this one and I've already uh, reordered a new one. But uh, the movie is uh, Steven Spielberg's Duel. And you can see right here, this whole thing, when I took the sticker off, it peeled right off. I was very careful too and it tore that whole part off. So I've already put in for a replacement one and I'm going to be returning this. So yeah, that really makes me mad. You don't need to take the whole sticker off. Just take a little corner so you can just do the top part so you're only peeling off a tiny little bit instead of a whole sticker that's, you know, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, it just pisses me off. Look at that. It looks horrible. No. I mean, otherwise, the steel, the slipcover is a really cool slipcover minus that area right there. But it's all right. It'll be here on Friday, so. All right, so guys, now we are on to the actual Black Friday titles I picked up. And um, the first one is The Banshees of Insurance. I think is how you say it. Uh, this is a movie that I wanted to see. I'm a big fan of this director. It's the same guy that did like Seven Psychopaths, uh, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Um, and... It's about two friends, and one friend decides that he doesn't want to be friends with the other guy. They're like, I think, childhood friends. 
uh, and whatever. I thought it looked uh, really interesting. I didn't get to see it in theaters, and I wanted to check it out, so I it was a really good price, so I picked it up. Uh, next is a movie that I didn't hear the greatest things about, but it's still a blockbuster movie, and it's got Michael Keaton as Batman again, and I'm talking about The Flash, and I just think this is a really cool slipcover, too. Yeah, I heard the movie's not anything all that great, but I heard it's still kind of fun, so I mean, the price was right. Um, it was really cheap. I didn't initially get it, but, uh, but yeah, the price was really good, so I had to pick it up there. That's what it, most of these movies are, movies that I didn't want to pay, like, full price for, but so I decided I'll wait till Black Friday and then pick them up. Next up, we got Wes Anderson in Asteroid City. Uh, my brother saw this movie. Uh, my one brother saw this movie. He likes Wes Anderson. He liked it, and then my other brother saw it, and, uh, he hated it. <laughs> he absolutely hated it, but... I'm going to still check it out anyway, and it was dirt cheap. So, got to pick it up. And this is embossed. Very cool. It's too bad this didn't get a 4K release. Now that I got this for cheap on Blu-ray, it'll probably come out in 4K. That's usually how things work. Uh, this next movie was one of the cheapest ones I got, and it's just from my childhood. I would never pay $30 or $25 or whatever for this, but I think this one was like 5 bucks, and I will 100% pay 5 bucks. For Space Jam on 4K. Uh, yeah, I look forward to revisiting this. Um, it's been a long time. I have no idea how good it looks on 4K. Um, but, I don't know. Five bucks, why not? Next is a movie that uh, I'm pretty sure what they had pictured was the steelbook of this. And then I went and got it. And it's just a standard release. And it doesn't have a slipcover. But this one, I believe, was like $5 too. So I'm not going to really complain. Um, and this is a movie that I've seen a couple times. It's been many years since I've seen it. And I thought it was kind of cheesy when I saw it. But I've been going back through and re-watching some Brian De Palma films. And I'm starting to kind of have more of an appreciation for them. So I figured for a dirt cheap price, I'll check out this one by Brian De Palma. And maybe I'll like it a little bit better uh, now uh, than I did years ago. And that's The Untouchables. And when I was there, uh, another Brian De Palma film, they also had Scarface on the uh, the Steelbook on 4K, which I was never a big fan of, but maybe I'll pick that one up too if uh, this one is better than I remember. Um, but yeah, I look forward to checking it out again. For that price, I can't go wrong. Uh, next up is a Steelbook, a beautiful Steelbook. I did not see this movie, um, but uh, I, I do like the Saw movies, and this is... A saw from the saw universe uh and it's this beautiful steel book with chris rock and it's a spiral this was another one that was really really cheap and i, I was like ah oh, i didn't pick it up when i first i don't think i picked it up i should probably check uh yeah no i never got that i think i thought about getting it once and then never did but i'm glad to have this in the collection i haven't seen this movie yet i heard it was okay but it's a beautiful steel book, so I look forward to checking that out. I'm glad to have it in the collection, especially for um, the nice nice price I got it for. Uh, next up is a movie that I've always enjoyed. I've never been a... What is his name again? Oh, yeah, Zack Snyder. I've never been a huge Zack Snyder fan, but this is a film that I have always enjoyed, um, and that's Watchmen. And as you can see, I tried taking the sticker off, and the sticker got stuck on the uh, the plastic wrap. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to rewatching this. It's been a long time. I had this on Blu-ray for a long time. But um, I, I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get that on 4K. This movie has always been uh, kind of a guilty pleasure for me. It's not a perfect film, but it's a lot of fun. Next is a movie that uh, I was glad to pick up. I didn't get it when it first came out. I'm glad I waited because I got it for super cheap. The only thing that I kind of wish is that it would have came with a slipcover. And none of the ones they had there had slipcovers either. So it's not like I could uh, trade this one in for one with a slipcover. So it's a little bummed out I didn't get a slipcover. But so cool to have it for, you know, a nice cheap price. And that is the Super Mario Brothers movie on 4K. Uh, I started this movie... Uh, when I was on vacation, and I was really tired, I made it about 10 minutes in, I started to fall asleep, so I really didn't get a chance to watch it, but uh, I grew up on Super Mario Brothers, and I'm sure it'll be a fun little film, and I was glad to add it to the collection um, for a nice, cheap price. 
Uh, next is one that I did get a slip cover with, and this is a fairly new release. I heard this movie surprised the heck out of people and ended up being really, really good. Um, I never played the card game, but I mean, for a dirt cheap price, I had to get this on 4K, and that's Dungeons & Dragons. Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I've heard this movie like surprised the heck out of people and it was way better than they thought it was going to be so i definitely look forward to throwing this in nice little blockbuster uh type film and the last one last but not least and it's one that i've not seen in a long time um i've heard uh that it looks really good in 4k but i have not seen for myself i finally picked up uh the wizard of oz on 4k uh for a nice cheap price so I had to add it. I've been meaning to get it for a while because I heard it looked really, really good. And I just never did. And I was like, you know what? I'm pulling the trigger on this one. So, but yeah, guys, that's it. That's what I picked up so far during Black Friday sale. Got quite a few movies. And uh, I had some um, some Best Buy uh, rewards too. So um, I didn't make out too bad. It was, uh, it, was, it was pretty good, pretty good priced movies. And it got quite a few for not that expensive so uh yeah definitely definitely a cool black friday uh sale and pickup so but yeah guys that's all i got for you today if you like this video give it a big thumbs up let's know you guys like what i'm doing like share comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below did you pick up any of these movies what did you pick up during black friday uh so far now that all these black friday deals start nice and early which is really cool um yeah let me know in the comments below guys you guys are amazing as always and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye